welcome to EZAPOD. Today we're reporting from ESRIN, the European Space Agency's Earth Observation Center for Scotti, Italy, where some 150 scientists have gathered to attend the third International Ghost Workshop to discuss how the mission, aimed at better understanding the Earth's gravity field, is progressing ahead of its scheduled 2007 launch. GOES is ESA's first mission dedicated to the study of gravity, which varies from place to place on the surface of the planet and forms a gravity field very different from the smooth globe we traditionally think of as the Earth. The gravity field also determines what is level, what is horizontal. And the oceans are practically nothing but a huge level, but not a perfect level. The actual oceans deviate slightly from being a level, even though in the evening when you look at the column C, it looks like a level, it is not exactly a level. And these deviations from a level make the oceans move, circulate. And this circulation is very important for understanding our climate, how heat is transported from from the equator towards north, how mass is transported, how polluted material is transported. And GOES will be the first mission that can allow us to directly measure how the oceans move. By measuring the Earth's gravity field and modeling the geoid, or hypothetical surface of the Earth, GOES will advance our knowledge of how the Earth works by providing insight into the physics and dynamics of the Earth's interior, such as volcanism and earthquakes, as well as ocean circulation and sea level change. Hazards associated with uh, plate motion, such as earthquakes, uh, have an everyday impact on people's lives. And one thing that GOES can do is provide details of the gravitational field that are a consequence of uh, the way in which the plates are moving over the top of one another. Um, using the, the gravity information, we can provide uh, detailed uh, three-dimensional information about uh, the Earth's crust and its structure. And by having that uh, information, uh, we can improve models of the way in which uh, the plate motions actually work. And in reality, um, this, should, this should give us better understanding uh, that we can use in a predictive sense for uh, particularly volcanic areas and, and places where um, people are suffering from earthquakes on a regular basis. GOES has been designed to fly in a low orbit of 250 kilometers because the gravitational signal is stronger closer to the Earth. However, the remaining atmosphere at low altitudes creates a demanding environment for the satellite and presents a real challenge for its design. In order to ensure that the effect of the remaining atmosphere is uh, kept to the bare minimum, the satellite configuration is uh, quite a unique one. So it has uh, a shape which is quite slim, so it's five uh, meter long and only one meter of uh, diameter. And actually the cross section is octagonal Plus, we have an ion engine which is uh, compensating, counteracting the effect of the atmospheric drag. Unlike other missions where various independent instruments are carried on board the spacecraft, GOES is unique in that the instrumentation actually forms part of the structure of the satellite. GOES is a very unique satellite. It's the Ferrari of gravity missions. Uh, we have, um, in contrast to previous gravity missions, we have uh, six accelerometers. Uh, the instrument, uh, the gradiometer as it's known, is comprised of three pairs of accelerometers oriented in uh, the along uh, track flight direction of the satellite, in the across track flight direction, and in the radial direction, which points from the center of the Earth outwards. Uh, what this gives us access to is gradients in the gravity field. GOES is the first Earth Explorer core mission to be developed as part of ESA's Living Planet program and is scheduled to gather data on the gravity field for 20 months. For the European Space Agency, I'm Tammy Oaks. For more news and information on the World Wide Web, access www.esa.int. Thank you for watching.